Alright, welcome back to Press X for Chromosomes. It is time to Shit. run into a wall. <laughs> Get back here. So apparently, the, uh, I don't know if you remember entirely, the super flame that we, um, unlocked at the end of Spyro 2. At the, uh... Yeah, fake okay. Apparently... If you start a new game, you just keep the super flame. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Yeah. I had no idea because apparently I just don't play Spyro but you, again frequently enough. <laughs> yeah. You play it once and you're like, I'm good. That yeah, saved I'm, me I'm for a little while. Like three years. <laughs> like, me and the Sims. Fuck you. Yeah, right. Binge it for a month and fucking Do... don't play it for three more years. Oh, it's a blue one. I did get a life out of that. So it's if you kill 10 critters... Or kill X amount of enemies, I guess. Yeah, I, I was saying the ones that you were, uh, that Spark was eating was blue and some were gold. Okay. So maybe that has, I, I, I don't know enough the, about the it. Because the blue butterflies in two are a heart, a, a life butterfly. Maybe they're here. Also, that was a little bit of a drop in frame, right? Yeah, it was. Um, they, they didn't exist, I don't think, in the first game. Maybe they added them in. That'd be nice. Honestly, that would have been nice. But that's just one of the, that's one of the f small things about Spyro 1 that I honestly don't know. Oh, I hate this level. <laughs> that's actually going to start being a lot more common of, oh, I just don't like this level. At least it looks nice. It looks beautiful. I like the water effects. The, yeah, right? I need to learn how to do water effects more. I don't want to come on. Yeah, because that little bitch is going to... Ow! I couldn't see. That's not fair. He just fucking said sit down. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, fuck you. They're the ones that made them. Uh... What is this fucking for the horde? <laughs> or Canari. <laughs> Alright. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I like how their hats it slow just, down slowly. Yeah. God, this place is beautiful! Yeah, it's real nice. I jumped right into that. It makes me vaguely want to do a thing where you just take like photos, if not like concept art, and kind of just redraw them. Oh, yeah? Just to learn how to fucking, like, do certain textures and place things. Oh, right, on sparks. In certain ways. Well, um, since uh, I will be playing this on my own time, I can always just send, send you the concept art once I've unlocked it all. Yeah, like, screenshot it and send it in the fucking, yeah, like, and messenger like, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, and I'll just be like, hey, check your, like, PSN or something. <laughs> yeah. This is my favorite supercharged spot. Use it to bash those wizards. Thanks. Don't you bow at me, mister. Don't you no, wait, show respect. <laughs> I am a shit lord little baby dragon. <laughs> I am the shittiest. <laughs> little purple shit. So in the original, uh huh, there actually wasn't a purple dragon, like Spyro purple dragon. Yeah. Um, so I think they tweaked some dragon colors because... There's one or two that actually looks like they could be Spyro's dad. Yeah. There's also no girl dragons. Yeah, I was kind of noticing that. Gay lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dragons represent. <laughs> Are you gonna... There you go. Eat it, you piece of shit. It must have been a blue butterfly that he was chasing, because the butterfly colors are actually a little hard for me to see. Well, they're fleeting, and everything being so colorful in the first place, kind of so hard. What's that statue over to your left? Behind you. Now. In front of you. Oh. Oh, no. It's a tree. Never mind. It, it stood it's, it's out. A, it's a statue of life. It, yeah. It does look a little out of place. I, I like how it's like windblown, too. Yeah. Hang on. I got some in my eye. How dare you have eyeballs? How dare I have hair that's near my eye? Right. Fucking. Now I do just kind of on a constant... So we decided to keep my hair a little bit longer this time. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, it's winter. It's going to get cold. She's like, that's fair. 
that's like my thing too. Like the instructor was like teasing us a bit, being like, "You guys huddling over there, you would love." I think he was talking about Georgia, and I'm like, "No, I'm good." Because <laughs> huddling over there, I, because- I hate, I hate, I hate it when people say that kind of shit. Like. It's like a weird derogatory, but like framed in like a like ha, you would ha, actually ha. like this place, but it's yeah. like shut up. You're like you're stupid for feeling cold. Right. There's places that are colder, and I'm like shut up. Well, That's what we're acclimated. He to. wasn't saying that it was colder. He was saying it was warmer. Oh, uh, okay. And um, it's like no, this room is just fucking I mean, yeah. freezing for whatever reason. Well, and we had a cold snap too. Well, and like we could turn on the heater but they choose to not turn on the heater gotta save that money dude and um so the room's just fucking freezing cold and i'm sorry i also have um short hair i my neck is very much open and my neck gets very fucking cold yeah that's why i'm like at least my hair now covers both my ears yeah my ears won't freeze off yeah that's why we discovered also uh eric can't handle fingers near his ear or in his ear (laughs) it's a new way i can kind of slightly annoy him uh you're such a little sister i am i I try not to do it that much though so i don't like come off as actually being like aggressive or annoying but uh so but he fucking freaks out there's like a finger like slightly in his ear or whatever and he tried to do the same to me and had no reaction because well, like, your the hair fuck? touches your ear all the time <laughs> yeah we we do so it's probably because fucking i have hair in my ears all the fucking yeah. time um i was hanging out next to alistair while he was like finishing up cooking and that kind of stuff mm-hmm. yesterday and um oh. i feel and like that one's just too low but they put gems on the ledge, which usually means that you can make it. Because they're guiding you to it. I guess. I, I feel like it's guiding you to see it. But maybe not jump to maybe. it. Maybe. It just felt too low. Where the fuck? That's why. Now these fuckheads are back. Give me your life essence so I may uh, get another one. Bonk. Um, but he was pouring the gravy from the the pot into the, the gravy boat. Mm-hmm. And I was watching him. And as soon as he was done, he was like, "You have." I was like, you have no idea how bad I wanted to, like, like zap you or something. Like, just knock your elbow a little bit or yeah, something. Yeah, just to fuck with you. And he's like... I'm Why? glad you didn't. <laughs> I mean, he's got a sibling. He knows. He knows That's the fair. rules. I, so. I forget that he has a sibling. Yeah, I think he, he's like, an only a child. Sister, because he, he never acts like an only child. Well, yeah, he never talks about her. No. Not that you have to, but I at least complain about Max a few times on social media a year. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, and I I know absolutely nothing about his sister other than the fact that she got LASIK at one point. Yeah. Like that's it fucking lasik i feel like that's a supercharge it is yeah i need to charge off this i was wondering if i might need to do that too to get to um that ledge over there oh maybe i don't know if i can reach it i hit flame yeah i don't know if i can jump off of I always, I hate, I hate, I always kind of, I don't know, view LASIK as a, a, a sign of how rich you are. Yeah. Cause only rich people get it. I can't afford that shit no. as much as I actually could probably use it. However, I like glasses. They fill out my face. Same. I like my glasses. I actually hate my face when I'm not wearing glasses. I don't mind mine, but fucking, I, I definitely prefer with glasses. But I need, I don't like having to pay for fucking the glasses all God, the time. God, no. That's why, like... I'm glad they're starting to become cheaper through, mm-hmm. like, different mm-hmm. sites. Because also, I don't have fucking insurance anymore. Yeah, no, so, it's just frustrating. Yeah, I can't fucking afford shit. Listen carefully, Spyro. There's a secret area in the artisan's home world near the waterfall. Try jumping on the stones there. Artisan's home world? Waterfall. Sounds good. 
Dude, the fucking orb between his horns. Yeah, I was gonna say that shit's some cool. Did you see the map on his, like, wing, too? No, I didn't see that shit. I was too busy being memorized by the spinny ball in his brain. His wings had, like, a fucking map on them. Oh, that's cool. He also told us about the the flight level in the Artisan Homeworld that I already knew about. (laughs) Yeah. What? Seriously? I lost all momentum? I think you would have gone higher if you just, like... I don't think you necessarily have to fly. Yeah, I might just run. There we go. Like, I have no reason to, but whenever anybody fucking mentions they got lakes, like, I immediately kind of, like, that person goes down on my book. Oh, no. A little bit. Because I feel like it's a fucking, like, look at the, it's me a flaunting brag. my money. Yeah. yeah. Like, even for me, LASIK would be fucking expensive as shit. Yeah. All right. Oh. I'm glad I jumped at the last second. I don't know if I would have made it without jumping. Now, do you have to fight all those others? They are lower. They are lower. I can lied to these. Cause I was like, do you have to like charge to each one? God, no. they have no like back that can stop you. You'd be dead. Spyro can be brutal, but it's not that brutal. <laughs> Doubt. No. <laughs> also, also. That's really pretty. Yeah. I saw that flying to this one and I was like, ooh, I'm a fan. I'm a great big fan. Alright. So I think... I think this is only what's left. Can I? Ah! There we go. There we go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. Fuck it. I, ironically, it sounds terrible that I segued from that voice to this. Uh, again. Bohemian Rhapsody didn't erase Freddy's bisexuality Which or anything like that. Awesome. Yeah, I hate that people complained about it without even fucking. It's like you knew, without even fucking seeing the film. Yeah, they they get too fucking. Like I hate more if the trailer gives away the whole fucking movie to me. Not that that should give the whole movie away. It's it is kind of a biopic, but like. What? 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 How are there gems down there? I've been down there. I think you can get back. I think you're. You if anything, uh, you can hit the lower one. Yeah. Okay. I should be fine. Um. What the fuck? That's just a life thing. That was glinting. Where? That one. But yeah, like, didn't erase any of that shit. Fuck it. Awesome. People should stop making decisions just based off of a one trailer. Yeah. That's a really fucking... That's judging a book by its cover, idiots. Literally. Yeah. And fucking... Um, they did ah! They did change the timeline a little bit. Because they wanted to kind of make a villain a little bit. Um, but they were pretty accurate. That's it, nice. It wasn't too changed. It was like a year before it actually happened. Okay. Just to for movie purposes, which I get... To give a little bit more, like, closure to a story. To, like, oh. like I said, give it more of, a, like, a villain feel. Right, right. Have so. there be, like, it's not just, like, a slice of life movie. Yeah, exactly. Which I, I, I don't mind. Like, it's not the most, it's not 100% accurate, but it's pretty accurate. And also, you, you guys, unless you fucking hate music, go over at least the music. The music's great, because Queen. Right. I like this bicycle. You fuck it. No, there's a song which I didn't know they made that they make fun of in the movie. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Called uh like oh, shit. It's something about a car. It's like I love my car. Okay. And they were joking about. They were like, he was like, well, why? Like they're like they're like it's a weak song. <laughs> you can't. You, know, you can't. And they like read out some of the lyrics and stuff like that. You're like, like you can't make a song about loving your car. It's like, oh, it's weird, dude. They talk about, like, moving it, like, greasing its shaft. Like, <laughs> like, and it was 
the, it was Roger, the drummer, who fucking was writing the song. He's like, okay. why not? I like my car a lot. And they were like, it's just weird, dude. And fucking, and then Freddie's like, because this is when Bohemian Rhapsody was being written. Uh-huh. And Freddie's like, well, what about this song? And they were like, Ugh, it's better than fucking I like my car. And I was like, did they actually, they, they were railing on I like my car a lot or whatever. I love my car. And I was like, I don't know if that's like something that like they were just in conceptualized stages or if like that actually happened. And Eric and I looked oh, it up. No. It is an actual Queen song. Oh my God. It is not a good song. It is weak <laughs> as fuck. And like, and we were like, yeah, that's why they railed into it. Honestly, it's not a great song. <laughs> but fucking, it's really funny that they even, it reminded me of like, not like. Oh. oh. It reminded me uh, it, whenever, like, I uh, I like my bicycle or whatever, uh-huh. or ride my bicycle. Uh, it reminds me vaguely of that, just because it's kind of the same silly theme of, like, it means nothing. It's just talking about a fucking bike. And same with a car. It's just talking about, about a car. car. But fucking, like, my God, is not good. It is not good. <laughs> and, like, the, and Mike Myers is in the movie. And fucking, I couldn't even goddamn recognize the dude. He's so good at playing, like, different characters. Um, Paul McGann is apparently in the Disney version of um, Three Musketeers. I do not know who that is. That's the Eighth Doctor. The one that, like, got a movie and that was it. Oh, uh, I did, do not know who that is. I, I, saw, I saw that thing about fucking why they call Jodie Whittaker the fucking 13th and the 15th Doctor. Right, and it's... And explain that guy. Yeah. The movie guy who didn't technically call himself the Doctor, so that's why he's not considered oh, that's, the Doctor. that's John Hurst. John Hurst. Oh, so... Paul McGann... It's around it, isn't it? Motherfucker. Um, Paul McGann made a movie... And then that's when the Doctor Who hiatus happened because then, like, it was like 20, 30 years later, and then Christopher Eccleston. Oh, see, the one with the fucking kind of like shoulder length hair? Yes. And like the pointy nose and stuff. He looks, he looked kind of renaissance y to me. Yes. Okay, yeah. They didn't even fucking put him on the thing. I don't think. I'm pretty, I thought he was. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe I just didn't pay attention because they were talking about Joe Hurst and everything. Yeah. Which, <laughs> the Doctor's only supposed to have, like, 13 regenerations. Mm-hmm. So... They, they broke it down. There's 15 incarnations. Yes. Uh, thir- 14 unique faces. Because mm-hmm. Tenet had two runs. Yes. Um, and then but, 13, technically, incarnations. But Time Lords can only reincarnate 13 times. Hopefully. I, I don't know. So no, I feel like there's some reason why fucking Doctor Who can go beyond. Are you passive until I move? Move. Yeah. Nice. I love it when games do that. So they don't like fuck you right out of the gate if yeah, you're not if paying you're, attention. Exactly. Because um, Gulp Crush and Ripto don't attack either until you move ah. in the arena. But... I think it's a good place to stop. Yeah. So I'll catch you guys on the next episode when we tackle the next world. So until then, bye.